A new video into our newsroom shows the apparent mishandling of a student at a local high school leaving a coach on administrative leave. Now you can see in this video where the alleged coach takes the student and then he appears to throw him on the floor this over our parkland high school the viewer who shared the video with us says the student that was thrown to the floor was part of the special education program we can now take a closer look at this video it's a blurry shot but you can see a student wearing a red shirt having some back and forth with a coach the camera moves a bit but you can still see the student wearing a red shirt walk away the camera then moves again but then when it turns back on to the student, you can see the coach make his way to that student. It is then when he takes the student, and then it appears the student is thrown onto the floor. Now, if you listen closely, you can hear the student screaming and possibly crying. Even when the camera moves out of frame, take a listen. The student is seen to be on the floor for the rest of the video with the coach standing over that student. The second before the video is done, the coach walks away from the student. The district did not confirm if the student is part of the special education program at the high school. However, we spoke to the Autism Society of El Paso and they tell us there are personal education plans to avoid situations like this. There is a behavior intervention plan put in place for them that helps with positive um, behavior interventions to help our students who have those behavior issues to make sure that Nothing like this could happen to them. Molly Signs with the Autism Society adds that anyone who restrains a special education student needs to be properly trained. This is part of the Individual Disability Act. We send our kids to school and we have good faith that the schools are taking care of our kids and they're, they're making sure that they're treated correctly, they're not mi being mistreated. Officials with the Isleta School District say the incident is under investigation and due to laws, they cannot come in further at this time. We'll keep you updated as we learn more, both on air and online at CBS4 Local. I'm reporting in the studio tonight, Eileen Herrera, CBS4 at 10.